All right, so this episode, I said I was going to do a little bit of uh, managing of my dwarves and dwarf therapist. Um, basically, I've got all these dwarves, but not all of them. You know, I don't need all like plank gathering and all this. So let's look around. Right now, my drink and food situation is in fairly good order. Um, so this guy right here, I could probably take him off with this and all that, and I'll keep him fishing for now just to keep my, you know, everything under control. But, you know, he's good as he is. This guy here, here, the guy who's uh, the fish dissector, I'll leave him on to also clean the fish, and that'll be good for that. Now then. Um, I've got miners, I've got, you know, stuff to do. This guy's a good butcher. And a good dinosaur. And a good pump operator. And mason. So he's pretty much good at everything. I don't really need him mining. And we'll give that to someone else in a moment. Uh, we'll put it up here for now. I'll take that off in a bit, but anyways. Um, I probably don't need him as a diagnoser, but he is, you know... But they're probably the best of them. Um, novice. Adequate. Looking at him compared to like the other three guys that, you know, have skills in it. Um, this guy's like good at like pottery and glazing and clothes making and all that. I probably want to leave him like that for now. You know, with those skills. So I won't you know, worry too much about Rimtar. Aiden, he's got woodcrafting, gem cutting, cooking, and stone teetling, but I don't really need that just yet. This guy down here, he's got good butchery and all that. Um, really it's a question of like what I need. Um, And, you know, I think I'll actually take him off masonry, because I don't want the, the butcher anyways to be doing all that. And we'll take him off this as well. Because butcher isn't too important for skill-wise. And I will leave him as a doctor, move cat. So move cat will be our chief medical dwarf. And I'll leave him on to like carry stuff around, which will be fine for now. Um, this guy here, I had him on like as a woodcrafter. That's the other thing. This guy doesn't really need to be a woodcrafter. Um, I mean, he can be, but there's no real need for it. Um, at this point, I think, uh, Iden will be left for stone detailing, just because he's got a fairly good amount of it. Um, I'm going to leave him on for woodcrafting as well, take off gem cutting, cooking, herbalism. Woodcraft will now be you know, fine alone, I guess, so we'll leave him as that. Make match for both, maybe. Or actually, I don't want him to do that, actually. Um, we'll turn on his masonry, turn off his diagnosis. And that'll be his job, this masonry and stone detailing for now. I suppose this is like the first time I've actually ever done this, I think. Uh, this guy, like, you know, going through the list and actually physically showing what I'm doing. I guess it's just brewing, he doesn't need to brew, he can stonecraft. Joining other guy over here because he's the best good at. Take off this. Uh, we'll leave him on to carry stuff if he wants to. Minkot, he's got setting bones. So I really don't want him doing anything except for maybe moving, you know, stuff around. Uh, this guy up here, Toasted. He could probably, you know, lose the mining. I mean, it's great that he can mine, but he doesn't really need to. I'll put this here for now. That guy. 
Just to make sure I remember I have five picks at the moment. Um, so yeah. Shorest here, he's, you know, got bone carving. I'll leave him as this for now. He can woodcraft, he can bone carve, he can carpenter, he can woodcut, and that's fine, I think. He's like also useless, but um, actually we'll leave him off that. He's not gonna be my my uh, dwarf. I want to get killed. This guy is fine. This guy is fine. This guy is fine. I right, is fine. So we're done pretty much with wave seven or wave two of those seven guys up here. Fob, he's gonna be like you know fishing. This guy. We just got wood cutting and furnace offering. Uh, we'll give him mining. And he's also being like a sacrificial dwarf. Uh, Rimtar, he's got potting, clothes making. We'll give him this, weaving, letter working. I'll leave that on for now. You can take this as well. We won't let him do a diagnosis, I don't think. Um, he probably won't have much use for a while, so let's also also give him mining. And I can take these mining skills away from the other guys that we probably don't need it. Like uh, this guy here in Melville, I've made this guy my mechanic for now, so I might just you know leave him on as the mechanic. Uh, brewing important, I guess. So we'll leave him as a brewer. And he won't do anything in regards to picking up stuff. These guys here, that's going to be a miner. This guy's going to be a fisher. This guy... Um, we'll leave the hunter too, I guess. Does he need to be left to brew? Probably. Uh, who would I take my brewing off of? Okay, now I'm getting lost in what I'm doing here. Start from the top. I you always know, remember what I'm doing. This guy I made to be like my future farmer, so we'll let him brew for now. And that's all he can do. Brew. That guy's gonna mine. That's fine. Just need to pick up stuff eater. This guy here, mechanic guy, he can brew. Okay, that's what that's right. Uh, so I got two brewers. This guy here, we'll leave him as a butcher for now until I get more migrants. Um, we'll let him carry around stuff, I guess, because most of the, I'll just be butchering animals, not farm courses or anything like that. So that's fine. Up here, we of course have the other guys. Um, I probably don't need him doing that, so that's fine. I've got, you know, two guys over here on mine. He can go back to stone crafting, that's fine. These guys are my military dwarves, they'll eventually lose the picks, but for now they can continue mining if I needed to. Uh, plant guying, no longer need to do this as much. Um, Nish. Mine. Mistum. Mistum Carpenter. Uh, so for the most part, it looks like it's, you know, I set up as, as it needs to be. Um, probably will give him back to hauling duties. Just to make sure I don't have, you know, a lack of haulers. And that should be good to go, I think. Alright, so that's uh, Gore Therapist time. Let's actually go through this now. Uh, one of these guys is my. gonna be my uh, military captain. I left Avus. One of these guys, of course, um, I mean, Shorest, my broker. Shorest is this guy down here.
That's probably another reason I should leave him be, I guess. Until I, you know, pick a new broker. I'm not going to get a mail trade off though later on. Hmm. But yeah, again, I'll be doing a lot of more stuff later to fix up these guys. Um, bookkeeper, manager, we can leave later. So that'll be enough for this. That's just the basic stuff to get me, work, you know, get by. I don't need a manager or bookkeeper right away. And let's fix up some more stuff. Now then, um, die room, trade depot. I guess this will be fine for hockey load zone. Bed, put a few more here. Looking pretty good, I think. Uh, we'll give the Chief Mackledorf his room. And we'll give like a couple of these for, what was it, um, one, two, so yeah, we'll have a couple beds for the nurses and such, I shouldn't say nurses, the uh, couple of doctors that'll help out. Um, I probably want to get a couple beds up for injured dwarves. And this, this episode is just briefly, briefly net managing, I'm not going to do anything else besides that, I don't think. Um, I should probably worry about these guys later. Let's see. I guess we'll just play more, place more bets for now. And I'll go up to Carpenter and tell him, hey, do more beds. Oh, he's doing more beds. Okay, that's good. Um... These are work nurses. Do I have uh, a need for Asher's now? Let's see. I can build an Asher? Yes. 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 Asher. Soap maker shop. Um, I won't bring, build one of each. Build a bunch of bu more buckets too. And I'll get to busy all doing all that. Uh, I should get someone doing gems soon. I don't need to do it right now, but it will be important eventually. So I've got all this down. Uh, we'll like build the kitchens. drinks in here for now. And I actually want to change one of these to be a dining room. That'll be good for now. I just get rid of one of these zones they had over here. Uh, I should get my mason doing that too sometime. Uh, so this will be Shores' bedroom for now. Oh, he's married to Minkot. Shores and Minkot are married. Oh, well, that's fine. I should make a location for pigs and dogs, I think. Uh, I was also thinking about making secondary defense down here as well. 
um, like, let's see here. Uh, we want maybe like a bit of space. That much at least. And then from here, that could be like a gate. And then I could start channeling down here. And the purpose of doing that would be just like, you know, make a a bridge to cross over right there. Um, and I can make like a kill box all the way down to, the, to this like area. I like how I did in the first episode so that's underground this time. Um You know what though? Let's make it it's a little bit more, I think, larger than that. We'll uh maybe wind widen it just a little bit. channel down here. The purpose of doing this would be that um, actually we'll do it like this actually right away. Basically there'd be like a channels on each side that would separate you know the path and all that. Uh, do I want it like that though? You know what, let's screw it. Um, Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I do want to have eventually somewhere a little sort of, you know, channel here. And then, um, I actually like the idea, but here's what I'll do. It'll only go up to here. Then from here I'll have a another mine strip. Actually, make this go all the way around. Then from here, we could have like you no know, the box. The box. The box and no return. Let's just make it free wide. This is like a second tier defense that you have. Um, and they would get into it from like. Actually, make even longer. Yes, yeah, very large rooms. They could get in. Kind of like that. So that's like a big, huge operation for mining right for now. Um, yeah, that's fine. I think here. If we square this off just a little bit.
Oops. That work well, I think. So let's get to it. So that's going to be like my tier defense up here. Let's just start making these into storage good areas, but um, yeah, let's do it. We'll put like uh, my finished goods in here. Enable, and we'll put block um, permit, uh, block all, actually permit all. I want to prohibit specific goods. Ah, damn it. Um, there. Music, toys, figurines, amulets, scepters, crowns, rings, earrings, bracelets, large gems, um, totems. That's pretty much it that I want moved there. Those are all stuff for selling, so that's what it would be moved there. And I probably want to make sure I find the finished goods to talk about from over here. And we'll forbid everything except for ah, forbid goblets. I want that. That'll work just well, I think. Um, I should go down here and start getting the stone moved. Permit other stones. I'm sure you can hear the fan in the background, but sorry, it is hot. At the time of this making of this video, I'll work well for that. Actually, plenty of space for a hospital. Oh well, um, this will be fine for now. Hospital. Um, so this has been built. I'll have to start placing doors soon. Chief Melgal Dwarf. Signed it to Minkot. You already got a room, of course. But who cares? I signed this bed to the other guy. Um, is it toasted? Yes, it was toasted. Toasted to gets himself a little bedroom. These are, of course, all free. These are, of course, all going to be free. Oops. Well, you know what, let's make them free. Whoever wants to can go in those. Who's not doing anything? So we got my farmer not doing anything. That's to be expected, I guess. He needs something to do. This guy. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Well, I need stuff to brew. Noble's not doing anything, I assume? Yep, Noble's not doing anything. Um, an easy way around that would be just to take that off. Go down here. Yeah, go down here. Maybe tell him to brew more. Go up here. Tell my mechanic, hey, you've got a job to do. Make some more stuff.
He'll be busy for a while. Um, I'm actually going to put mechanism up here too. I actually want to expand my finished goods a little bit, I think. And do 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 Bit of room for that. And we'll take this out of this pile here. Alright, so I've actually got a bit of a pest problem in there. Um, we're going to move food down the stockpile for food to here. Take drinks out of this one and plants. Hmm. And we'll leave what here? I have no clue. Um, let's just get rid of it. I'm just going to make my cat roam around here. Damn. Well, this will be good enough. Nice. Get that much. That's for the cat. Down here we'll have another one for the cat. plants and such. That's for plants. Um, we want to have our stockpile for, you know, seeds fairly close by. Well, let's put it for here now. Well, should I put it here? No, we shouldn't. We should go up here. Uh, we'll put this for seeds too. Wait. We'll take from anywhere. Take from give. Yeah, I probably don't want to give seeds here. Uh, we'll put seeds in our own stockpile. For now. See here. And he's holding cat. So I get one cat, two cats. Why not? We'll put a cat here too. Okay. 
Hopefully he's getting it done. What's over here? Let's get some blocks. Looks like everyone's doing something now. That's good. Of course, bring rock blocks from all the way down below. Are they still making blocks down here? Um, hopefully not. They got suspended, so they shouldn't be. Oh, there's still quite a few blocks down here. Looks like they're gonna keep doing it until it's all brought up that way. Oh well. Oh well. At least they're pretty much all busy at this point, so I'll leave them be. Can I build hives? Nope, I can't build hives. Um, I have no clue where I put them, but I do. I can build them. Build them here for now. We should actually place these better. That's probably a bee right there. I have no clue where it just went. I have no clue what that's doing. Uh, rocks are doing there. Honeybee worker. So yeah, I got eat bees. Um, that's there. This is here. You know what, I don't have to worry about sieges just yet, so... We're gonna move the uh, bulls, the cow, the bull, and the war buffalo all the way there. It makes a little bit of space. And then down here I can build the hives. Hopefully the cat doesn't consider them snacks. Because if it does, then there's a problem. Oh, yeah. I'll need somebody to be keeping later, but for now, I'll just get them set up. I wonder how this is looking. I did a pretty, pretty good job, I think. Let's get the ditch all lovelyed out. The ditch. How are you, how are you gonna get out? I have no clue. Um, I'm thinking that might be, you know, a d idea to do this. Oh, that's right, these are. <laughs> I could remove the upstairs from that. Probably not what I want to do. It will work, but probably not what I want to do. But anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll just do that right there, and I'll remove these one of the constructions so they can get out, then replace it. And spring's arrived. Almost time for new migrants. I love how quick that is. But I really hate those guys popping up every so often. I should actually cover this too. Uh oh. Oh, I just punched him.
That's all he did. Alright, I plan to attack him too. Ugh. Interrupted. Oh, it's gonna kill us. Constructing these, I wonder. He's beekeeping. So, someone with beekeeping actually has to have that, okay. Um, what that? These guys have no job? Does that mean they're done? I guess so. They can get out too, but they uh, have to get out, I guess. Wait, they can get out. Up. Up. They can get out. They can't get over, though. Uh, I have to be done. This. Yeah, I'll make this one out of all granite. mind us out, which is good. Well, it's good that I got that out of the way. Well, let's get these out of the way, because the migrants will be coming soon. The migrants will be coming soon. And they'll need bed space. That works fine. More work. You can't sell that because he has no sell item, that's fine. Hopefully he'll, he'll drink some more stuff soon. He's of course building a bridge slowly, I hope. It's not like he can do anything else. Kadal and Iden. Kadal is here. You might not have access to, to the bridge, maybe. That could be it. Iden? Where's Iden? This is the only problem with building stuff inside. Um, he's right here. He's also here, so that wouldn't do any good to give him it, if that's the problem. Um, who's outside? This guy's outside. Toasted. Toasted, go uh, learn architecture. And yes, the alarm's gone off. Toasted is now going to, I hope, construct a building. Follow. See how the blocks are out here, which is good in a way. But it means that he has to 
build it. Which is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woohoo, puppies! This is a very repetitive process. He's getting thirsty too. I don't think he'll drink until he uh, manages to complete the building. Whoa, someone had a mood. The furnace operator? Shorest? Uh, he's probably going to want to make a crossbow. Oh, he'll be fine in a moment. I hope. Hope this is the last brick. Yep, that's the last brick. So, oh, Mason should come along, start to building the bridge. That's good. He can go off it now. And the bridge will be built. Which means, guess he's going to run out of a little hole. Migrants! Woo! Fun! Pop he goes. Okay, I don't need this, uh, you know, possibly killing me, so let's build a wall. Ah, uh, still stone. He claimed a mason shop. Why would he? Oh, it's a different guy. Shores start. Ah, that's why he he's best skills for mining right now, so. Mason's what he'll want to do. We'll see if he's got what he needs. Um, while we're doing that, I got new anti migrants. Um, you know what? We'll actually handle them later. And this episode's gone long enough. Next episode, we'll see what he makes.